I now request our Assistant Professor, Ms. Alicia Fernandez, to introduce our guest for today. A very good morning to everybody and a warm welcome. Today I'm given the opportunity to introduce before you the Chief Guest of the Day, Sri Vishwajit Rane, the Honorable Minister for Forest, TCP and Health. A very popular man among different age groups, toddlers, young and old. Following the legacy of his father, Sri Pratap Singh Rane, Sri Vishwajit Rane entered into politics and his journey as an elected representative of the Goa Legislative Assembly commenced in the year 2007 and thus began a great revolution, not just in his constituency of Valpoy, but also the entire state of Goa aligning to his model of the Goa model. Well, today we have with us not just the minister, but also an enthusiastic wildlife photographer. His work for wildlife and details that he has captured is indeed commendable. Like his political career, photography too happens to be a passion that he always follows. Right from going into colder regions of Antarctica to heated regions of South Africa. Taking time off and following passion is also a thing to do. When we initially came up with this idea of having this competition with the theme on forest, there was a direct answer that it was Minister who would be the chief guest for his passion towards photography. When I had a word with him to make it to this place, he said despite his busy schedule, he would make, your, make it here and here to see the man of his words. We would love you to address the gathering. Indeed, we are honored to have among us the dynamic, enthusiastic leader, Honorable Minister, Sri Vishwajit Rane, also known as Tumto Amto Sagranto, Baba. Good morning, Father uh, Tony and uh, Mass Communication in Charge, Madam Blanche Mascarenas, our Parish Parab, Vaibonai Convenia for this uh, function, and Alicia was constantly telling me that I should be present here today. It gives me great pleasure to be amongst you because the subject is totally different. And I was just going through the pictures. Many times, Father may have seen that I must have been looking at my phone and I was looking at the pictures. But my attention to photography is a lot in detail. And photography has been my passion for the last uh, 16 to 20 years. And before that also, but there was a little gap. All I want to say to all the young, enthusiastic photographers who are amateur photographers who may become professional photographers later, Paresh Parab himself also captures different moments uh, in the wild. And also, like what Madam Blanche said, is, you know, maintaining the forest and flora and fauna and also having activity, commercial activities of balanced and sustained development of model is also very important. And for this, it is a young generation. It is all of you who need to, you know, contribute your expression of what you want to say. And many times you cannot express it in words, but many times you can express it through your medium of photography. And photography is something that you can go so much into detail. I was just looking at some, they say some school children have taken some photographs uh, before put up when we came to the college students. I myself travel all over the globe to do photography, spend a lot of time and uh, trying to understand uh, what uh, the uh, actual uh, wildlife and the wildlife scenario and the habitat, the ecosystem and what it's all about across the globe. I was in the RD also recently and I spent a lot of time in trying to understand you know, the whale movement. I was fortunate to see about 26 blue whales coming across the boat that I was in. But you know, capturing these moments and these are so much in detail, you know, we go and we spend time and sometimes you just leave your camera and you just want to enjoy what is actually happening. And many of you must have seen planet, the frozen planet, many of you must have seen the, the wildlife series and on uh, various uh, channels and it is so easy for us to just put on a TV channel and say to the photographer that spends time there, taking those photographers can be couple of months, couple of years in order to get the best shot actually and trying to capture something that he can showcase to the world, the real life that actually existed, right from you know uh, the, uh, the your cheetahs or the tigers, their clubs, you know it's a different world altogether. And Father, I would like to share with you that I am one person who has been going 
all the processor and so many tens of forests and other things segment like during the planning process. We are ensuring to see that people plant that many number of trees if they have to, you know, understand and take a particular development or development of particular size because it's so important to have greeneries. You need to have these oxygen hubs, you need to have these green hubs, and then you have a better quality of life. Photographer, photography is something which I would like to suggest to all of you today. Technology is changing. Forget about the technology, but the speed at which technology is changing. Today from DSLR cameras, they want to mirror us. Mirror us to mirror us, mirror us to mirror us. Nobody knows which uh, lens is going to come out tomorrow because there is so much of competition going on within the, the, the companies. But today the mirrorless technology is something it is way beyond what actually exists. I have also shifted slowly from DSLR to mirrorless. And all I can say to you is that we need to apply a mind. And you know, even if, if it's ever just looking at a spider photography or if it's a bird, you need to spend a lot of time in trying to, you know, capture the best moment. Many times if you see curious to go to the wild, you go to the sign or you go anywhere in the captain, even if the tiger is sleeping, then you come to photograph for them. Yes, because they're curious, they just want to see the stripes and that's the that's the photograph. But the time that people like us spend, I spent about 12 to 13 hours in about 48, 49 degrees just to see the movement and the you know the the behavior pattern of the of the tigers. Many times I had the opportunity to see the tigers with cubs coming and interacting with the mother, and that interaction moment and that moment at that moment when the mother comes back from the kill and, and tries to interact with the cubs, that is something to capture. You know, that's something I don't think I don't know how many of you have gone actually to a wildlife park or you have gone and spent time and you know these things are really precious and you cannot get this because just because we have a good camera or this then moment that we really know courage more courage many times there will be some pictures that we have got a wild dog back in the state and sometimes they appear but very difficult uh, to capture them because they are very fast but you know all of you must start you know you must pick up you must actually you have to have a mind where you already know what you want to actually capture through that camera and then work towards going towards that and say okay this is what I think I want to capture and then you know and spend some time and trying to see that you get the best pictures I am very happy to be here because photography being a passion of mine has been a hobby for the last 20 years and when I was told I was very happy to come here there's so many very you know if there are bird species which are very rare, which are only available in the Western Guards and which are available only, uh, many of them are visible in the state of Goa. And all of you, you know, if you tie up with the forest department, spend time, we will, uh, we will support you in trying to go. There are a lot of these, uh, what you call, bioluminescence, uh, uh, bioluminescence, uh, which uh, Paresh knows. These things, you go and capture them. You do so much of thrill only in capturing the photography and improving your own skills. And there's so much, there's so much to do. And I go spend, I go, I go like, I go for 10 days, 12 days because I like to see something different than what I have already seen. And all of you, the younger generation, and all the people who have taken part in the competition, people who have actually, whose photographs have been displayed, you have done a good job. You can further, you know, try to apply your mind and try to actually, uh, in a different way. Photography is all about creativity. And it's not only creative, you're creative in how you want to capture that particular moment. And I think that's something which you young generation are very good at. And I think photography is something you should always be because it's a great detox. It's a great way of expressing yourself. It's a great way, many times you cannot write something on a piece of paper but you're able to express it through your photographs. And what you want to say comes out through your photographs. Whether what Madam said is regarding the sustainable uh, you know, development in terms of maintaining the forest, you can go in, into the forest. What we are trying to do now, I would like to share with Father and Madam with you also. If we are trying to make it open and accessible to the people, the younger generation, we want along with our senior forest uh, officers, so that they can go and experience what is happening. We are trying to create camping sites within the forest. So they can go and spend time. You know, there has to be some sort of a relationship and, uh, between both the people, the younger generation and what wealth life within the forest. And this is something which you need to know. There is so much in the forest. And you know, I have spent time in the forest in many parts of the world and uh, that gives you a different pleasure. You know, when I go to Masai, I was telling Parish for a long time back when I was you know, when you go to Masai, 
The smell of the grass itself, you know, gives you a different type of feel. You know, you come back home and you want to do this type of photography. Generally, this is the way you need to move forward. Photography requires a lot of time, lot of time, and you need to spend time, and you need to, you know, decide what you want to be pursuing. And it's really interesting. I have got also, I have got a handle that I share all my pictures. You all can also follow that handle and also see the way how photography can be showcased and what actually is seen across uh, the world, what's happening in the Arctic, what's happening in the Antarctic, what's happening in Zambia, what's happening in Tanzania, and what's happening within our own country in terms of wildlife. I would be really uh, happy if you check it out and then you get ideas. I also learned, you know, I had a very good friend of mine and he's more like a brother to me whose name is Thomas Bichet. You should follow him also who has gone and captured the Siberian tiger, the Amur leopard and what is unseen has been seen through his eyes. And that is how you, you spend time. And you know, photography is not just taking a picture, but these people have actually risked their lives to take that picture. And many times, and he was giving me once, we were we had gone to check on the Oranko tanks in Indonesia. And we had to go down five feet in the water. But I just want to explain to all of you who take photographs, it's not just taking a straight shot. Many times you need to go down and you need to elevate that photograph on top so that the Oranko tank, the way you put him across, it comes like a huge thing that is there uh, above you and that's how you capture the photographs. Very interesting, going to the water, but virtually we, uh, we were smelling at the end of the trip because there was no scope for us to wash our clothes or anything like that. So five feet water going down and, and the early in the morning, you know, when there is a little bit of fog and other things, you know, and there is still water and then capturing the rainbow tank coming. So actually you need to, so I was asking my friend, why did you take me one day earlier? He said, no, I was actually trying to read my mind, actually, what I want to see and where do I want to see the subject and uh, how do I take photographs. So this is very interesting. Actually, anytime you need to, uh, when he comes next time, I would be happy to students of Xavier's, we can have a chat, talk with him and he, he can come and actually explain. There are a lot of people doing you know, forest conservation also. These are also people, really, within our own department of people like Suresh Parap and all, who have actually spent a very passionate towards conservation and other they also can come and interact with you. I don't want to take much time. This is, like you know, photography to everybody's eyes is totally different. You may look at photography perspective differently, she may look at photographic perspective differently, I may look at it differently, what I'm actually looking for and what I want to shoot. So I would like to actually suggest to all of you is pursue it, don't give it up midway. It's a great detox and pursue this. Pursue this is a passion. And I'm sure you'll be able to come out with beautiful pictures. You'll come out with different, even a peacock, you know, many pictures, peacock. And you just look at that peacock there. And many times, you don't have to only take the whole body of the peacock. Many times you just have the peacock, only the head and all the thing on top. You just focus on it. You get some beautiful pictures when you blur the background. You know, these are different ways of which you look at photography, what you actually want to do. And it is important to know your instrument, I mean your uh, camera that you are uh, using. Many of us this, uh, look at how we can take a picture. Many of us go on a key mode or auto mode. Many of us just want to, you know, we need to study what we have with us. And see that we know every operation of that camera. That camera today is a magic, ma magic box. So you can create different kind of photographic experiences through your own eyes. I don't want to take much time. I would like to thank Father for having me here and Alicia for Pursuing that I make myself present here today, Madam Kash, Parish Puram, and all of you here, Vaibhav Naik and Kabira, wishing you all the best, keep up the passion and keep it up with a different type of energy. And I'm sure you will come out with beautiful pictures and a different perspective to life, to your own life, by adding a lot of color to the camera. Thank you so much.